All right, uh, welcome to KE Sports Talk. I'm here on a Jongju vlog today for the basketball team, the Jongju KCC Eagles. So I'm at their uh, gymnasium outdoors right now. So that as you see right behind me, that is uh, the gymnasium. So it's about 12.15 right now, Korean time. And I think we'll be able to start going in at 12.30. So just wanted to go over real quick. Um, yeah, I, I came from uh, Daejeon. So I took the train from Daejeon Negri to Chongju uh, Station here. And then just took a quick bus. I could actually take a straight shot and walk. It's about, it'll be about four kilometers from uh, the train station so yeah uh, of course um i wanted to get seats at the bottom but those things sold out i even was there when the tickets went open for sale so i'm going to be on the second level but i will be uh, going around uh you know showing you some of the sites and show you some of the game action so this is going to be probably a, a really tight game because um for those that do follow kbl um the jungju uh kcc is is now um, fighting for that sixth spot. And of course, they're playing the LG Sakers from Chang One. They're second in the ladder. So, so for some of the teams, like uh, if you're like KT Suwon or you're a uh, Wangju DB Pami, you're, you're going to be an LG Sakers fan today. So that's where it is. So you could, and by the way, you know, you could download the app. And it is in Korean, but most of it, uh, there's some English where you could easily tell, you know, the latter. It's pretty self explanatory. So that's where we're at. So, yep, there's the building right behind me. So I'm just going to go in. I already got the QR code on my phone. So I could get the tickets printed, but I usually just use a QR code and just go from there. So I think I'm in the second level. So I'll take you guys inside and sh take you through the, uh, the experience here uh, in Jongju. So, all right, I'll see you inside. Okay, I'm here at the bottom of the parking lot here, and you know, um, the, this is where the team buses are going to be probably coming in. So I'm actually on the side where the home team is, so, so hopefully I'll see, you know, uh, Garuna, aka Ricardo Ratcliffe, and then Hei Young is probably one of the most popular basketball players here in um, South Korea. If you guys don't know, he was the team captain for one of the All-Stars and of course the other one where I was in Daegu yesterday, uh, Yi Dae-sung or Dae-sung Lee, uh, were those are usually the two most popular players here in South Korea. So so yeah, so, uh, uh, so everyone's waiting, there's fans waiting and they're excited. Uh, right here next to me, there's a girl with the hang on jersey, so maybe she brought her pen to get Hayung to sign the jersey. And then hopefully inside I could even find my Kevin Epistola jersey in there if they sell it or not. So we'll see what happens. So all right, I'm gonna wait to the buses and I'll give you the uh, footage of when the players come on in. Okay, check this out. We got the LG Sakers coming in. So this is the second time I'll be seeing them this week. So we'll have uh, just, so let's see, see if I run into Justin in here. So now the teams are going to come out and then probably uh, KGC Eagles will follow. Let's see. So here, yep. So let's see. So there's, yep, here comes all the players coming out for the Sakers. Now this is probably my third time I'm seeing them in uh, two weeks here. So they're just pretty much going straight in. I don't know where is Justin. Yeah. There's Justin Kutang going in. So, so, so at least I'm assured that Kutang is here and hopefully he'll get more minutes today. So that's your LG Sakers going into the locker room. All, all right, here we go. Here comes to Jongju. 
KCC Eagles bus. Oh, it's a pretty nice bus. Look at it. I like the logo on it, if you guys can see it. So this is the home team. They are hosting this today. And the players will be coming out of there again. So we get a view of the player. So I hope I can see. So once again, you can see how festive this is. We have uh, people are waiting for them. There you go. Here comes some of the staff first. Working staff. And, yep. Are they all? Okay. So just the coaching staff comes in. To So there's your uh, Eagles team. Not big, is that that pistola right there? <laughs> and there is Calvin Epistola. All right. So there is Epistola right there. And then Luna. And AKA Ricardo Ratcliffe. And then there's Jefferson, who had 37 points the other night. So their last game. So there you go. So there is your KCC Eagles, and they are headed inside the locker room. So there we go. And now we're going to go. All right, I'll see you guys inside. So there you go. I'm going to let the Eagles bus park his bus. But one last look at the logo. I got to say, that's a pretty nice bus. I got to say, that's. I like those colors and the design. I got to admire the design. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, check this out. So I'm already inside the gym, so the LG Sakers are warming up. So there is, uh, and of course, uh, both uh, Justin Gutan, Kevin Epistola are present today. They will be in the, on the roster today. So there's Gutan and the rest of the LG Sakers right now, um, warming up right now, and that's where we're at. Uh, the thing about it is I'm on the second level. Uh, all the first level seats sold out. I was trying to grab one earlier, but that thing goes quick, see? So as you can see, the lower levels, they sell out real quick. Even when the tickets open at the time they say it opens, it is just not available. And I even was there at the trigger point trying to get it. So I'm about three rows in the second level, so uh, the facility, I'm not too big on it, and I just found out they are not selling the Kevin, Calvin Epistola jerseys. So another frustration here, and and I think you know um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of work for me to maybe get in contact with Kevin. So I gotta figure out what to do. Uh, I did actually talk to the person who was running the store there in a in a black suit. He was telling me that. Um, that there's plans to put it on sale but I, I tell them like why don't you guys put that on the online KBL store because you know a lot of the people want their jerseys even the foreign players here we want there's people that want to get their jerseys you know so that's what I don't get sometimes I understand we got to they cater to the locals you know but still uh, you never know where people that are foreigners here want them especially like uh, Filipino players so I, I still just sit here shake my head I'm like you guys don't know the market you guys have so so for uh, you know uh, Daegu they're not selling SJ's and now for Calvin Epi so I'll give them a little chance because there's only 18 games left in the season so that's just like my little gripe right now because I'm you know I'm of course for me I'm trying to complete a mission here all right, so here we go. So I got the side view and teams are warming up. All right, so I'm gonna try to go to the other side and try to get some more uh, footage. 
All right, so I'm on the other side here. So here's the KGC Aegis, uh, and I'm gonna zoom in to Kevin. So there's Calvin Epistola. He is warming up right now. So Filipino Canadian there, and then AKA uh, there's Raguna, AKA Ricardo Rapcliffe out there. Uh, and then I don't see the other guy, uh, what is it, Jefferson out there, who had 37 points in his last performance. So, so there we go right there. So, and then of course there's uh, Hei Oom, who is one of the most popular uh, South Korean players. So Hei Oom, so he's the one. And then he has a brother that's like in the military. So we're gonna see how this uh, plays out, but this is going to be a crucial game for uh, the KCC Eagles. They want to make sure they finish six in the ladder, so postseason. Because top six goes to the postseason in the KBL. It will be a best two out of three for seeds three, six, and four, and five. So that's what we're looking at right now with these players, and that's what's going on. And hopefully uh, I can maybe uh, talk to Kevin Epistola and see... If I could get his jerseys donated, just in case uh, they do not sell uh, his jerseys here for KCC. So, but of course uh, they are selling jerseys. I mean, I could get like Arunas and all that. So, but Epistola is going to take some time. Since okay, fair enough. I'll give him. I'll, I'll be. I'll give him a little pass because Epistola just kind of joined the team. So I get that. But for uh, Daegu, I do not give him a pass because, and in defense of SJ, you know, SJ is a first Filipino signee and and you won't sell his jerseys. That's my grief with Daegu. So, other than that, I'll still give Kate, and then, you know, at least some guy said, at least told me like it's in the works. So hopefully what he says means it's gonna be available. All right, so, all right, so I'll, I'll check the other parts of this arena and I'll keep bringing you all the footage in action. All right, I'll see you in a second. All right, uh, check this out. Uh, I'm going to show you the shop, the KGC uh, shop here. So I think, uh, sorry, sorry about the, my gimbal, so uh, having a mind of its own. Of course, they, they are selling jerseys. They are saying, of course, a famous player, Hey Woon's jersey. So that's not the issue. Garuna's jerseys, but they're not selling any Kevin Epistola's jersey. And everyone's in line to collect some stuff going right now. So that's the KGC store. Now, I'm gonna walk around real quick. And, and here's probably my little grief of this place. My grief is this. Uh, look, here's a slight problem I have with this level. Because I'm on the second level. Look how narrow this is. There's no room to walk. The, like, if I walk around and come back, it'll be like the 405 freeway up in here. You know, right now it's okay, but you, if you saw the line at the store, you're gonna see how traffic is gonna get. So I'm gonna show you the traffic jam about to happen. So I'm gonna walk around. It's too narrow, so if I have my big buddy in here, we're gonna have to have him, we're gonna have to hop over him or he's gonna have to pick us up and throw him over him unless you get to the gaps here. So look. So that's my thing, it's very narrow. I mean, here it's a little more wide open, but once I go into the store area, there's gonna be no space to walk. It'll be like Los Angeles, the five and the 405 freeway. So as you can see, this part's clear, but watch. I'm gonna take you right in, but I'm gonna turn back once I hit that, hit that freeway jam. So I'm gonna go right here. And, of course, I could go downstairs, but that's level one seating. Oh, actually, it kind of cleared out A, B, and C. A lot of the seating is just, it's a little confusing. Oh, actually, it cleared out. I take that back, but early when I was uh, walking, people were in line for the uh, store thing, you know, you could see. But either way, it's very narrow. 
the place is very narrow up here and that's the thing so that would be the only thing so when you're trying to bust on out of here it's gonna be a crazy hellhole show to get out so let's see so as you can see, yep so there we go so that's what I'm talking about that is the hellhole I'm talking about all right well here I am I'm taking, uh, luckily I'm in the aisle seats here let's see so as you can see I got the Justin Gutong jersey on. Yeah, so I got the whole aisle. And I got the whole, like, little walkway in front of me, as you can see. So I have a lot of leg room. So that's one thing I'm liking. Uh, of course, I can't get down there. Uh, and I don't feel like waste using my voice too much. Maybe till later. So, so, so yep. So not a bad, I got a side view, but the lower level does sell out quick as usual. So yeah, so it is what it is with this arena, not bad. So usually tickets go quick, so I think it's going to be a packed house tonight, this afternoon, on a Sunday. So I think a lot of people will be here. Yeah, so hopefully I'll just have to just sit back and be patient if I want to see at the bottom, because it's just hard to get because people just like buying it, buying it up. So that's how it goes. All right, then um, I'll bring you some live footage of the game and I'll uh, see you soon. Okay, we're, look how packed this crowd is. Look at the seating capacity. Look at how many people are in the arena. So we're very getting close to doing the national anthem here. So almost not an empty seat in here. So there's gonna be a lot coming in. Oh, and by the way, there's all the jerseys, championship banners. So, and there's more people blocking my view. So there we go. I mean, look at that. So, all right. So there we go, and we'll see how this goes. I figured we'd be doing the national anthem right now, but we're still waiting. Alright, we'll see you in a second.
see that the game is already over so uh, the Aegis handled LG Sakers so they are now in the top six in the ladder and right now we're waiting for the players to come on out in the fan fest so that's where we're at right now so you got the Aegis bus and you got the LG so we'll have the players come and there's some of the fans here trying to get uh, you know an autograph or something from one of their players Especially like, you know, hate young. That's what I think majority are waiting for. And hopefully uh, I can get a selfie with Kevin Epistola and uh, see if Justin Gutang is okay. I don't know if you'll answer that, but we'll see how that's going to go. All right, so we're going to stay tuned and wait till everyone gets out. And I'll see you in a second. There's Justin. Dang, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's Justin Kutang. I, I don't want to scream. I'll probably see him again. So, I don't think Justin's gonna come out and say what's up because he's gingerly walking. So, at least he saw Justin. So, hopefully, I can get Kevin Espito because I already got a selfie with Justin Kutong already. So, I already uh, met up, met with on a court, and he signed my, as I said in my past videos, he signed my jerseys already. So, hopefully, uh, he'll be fine. And, um, yep, I'll try to see him again. All right, we'll keep waiting and see if I can get to uh, Kevin Epistola and see if he will drop in here. All right, see you in a second. Okay. All right, welcome to the experience. Well, you hear it. Well, here's the experience of the KBL. There you go, fan fest here, and there you go. I don't know, since we're really far away from uh, the buses, it's going to be really tough to maybe get some of them to drop in. So I'm hoping to see if... 
I really would like Kelvin Epistola to drop in if possible. So, but we'll see. And yep, players that come in. You can see on the other side. I decided to come on this side because there's less people here. But then I have to see who's gonna come. But there's no way I would have been able to get. Uh, you wanna, and of course, wait till like Garuna comes out, aka Ricardo Rathclip. So we'll see. All right, so we're gonna stay tuned, and we'll still wait and see. Okay, uh, just forgot to see the LG bus has left, so we have the KCC Aegis left. So we haven't seen uh, Karuna, aka Ricardo Rapcliffe, and I still haven't seen Calvin Epistola yet. So that's what I'm trying to get if I can get a selfie with him. Luckily, uh, you know, I'm not with Justin. He barely was able to hop onto the bus. So we're gonna wait. And of course, you see a lot of starstruck uh, ladies here for their uh, local player. So, try to enjoy this vlog here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well that's the odds we play, like if we go on one side, I might have picked the wrong side. So we'll see. So we'll see. Alright, let's see if we can get a couple of those guys to come this way, so we'll see. Alright, so we got the big men coming to say what's up. <laughs> So there it is. Kevin Epistola! Ah. Kapayan! Oh, dang, it's going on the other side. There's Kevin Epistola. And too bad I can't find where the Filipinos are because that's where I know he'll go to. But I'm not seeing the Barcada out here. So there we go. The Fan Fest and there's a big here. So we'll see if I can get Epistola to come this way. So, yeah. so there we go. So. Yeah. So here you go. So fan experience. Yeah. So let's see. So there we go. All right. So I'm gonna wait and. Let's see if I could knock on wood and see if Kelvin can come back this way. And look, look who's here. Let's go to hell. All right. Kelvin, goodbye on. Well, I don't think he's going to hear that from me from a long distance. <laughs> Well, maybe I should sing, oh, Canada, he might come. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, I have it. <laughs> 
Go ahead, follow that. Follow. Okay, you no paper. Alright, there's the man. Good job, dude. Oh, you're getting the sign So there you go. I'll just go move up like the states. And there is Karuna, aka Ricardo Ratcliffe. <laughs> <laughs> and there he is. Let's see, maybe. Let's see if I can get a. Uh... <laughs> 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 Good job, Ricardo! Up, so that's a tough one. I uh, couldn't get Kelvin over here, so, but hey. We, so, Karuna came, Mr. Ricardo Rapcliffe for those in the States. And this bus is gonna be leaving town. Okay, so that was the block today, going to Chongju Keiji. Igis, uh, Igis won convincingly. They move now into the top six and uh, playoffs. And you know, um, yeah, uh, of course uh, it was nice coming here, but it's a I ha today it's a slight failure to me. I couldn't get a hold of uh, Kevin Epistola. Uh, I couldn't uh, get close. Uh, another thing, the team store is not selling the jersey, so. That's another issue, but of course, uh, I've said earlier in the video that, you know, Kevin, Calvin just got here, so so that's one of the reasons. So, yeah, so hopefully I need to, you know, work the magic and maybe try to get a conversation with, uh, Miss, with Calvin again and see, or get in contact with Calvin and see what I can do to get uh, jerseys. So that's the issue right now, um, you know. Because right now I have, what, uh, five sets of jerseys. Four of them are signed. So now I need to get, uh, when I go back next week to Anyang, uh, get Reza Bando to sign his, my jerseys for me. And that's just how it goes. So, yeah. So, but it was not that bad. I had a little bit fun. Uh, it was a jam-packed. So the fan experience is, you know, out of this world as usual. So that's just how it goes, you know. So that's where we're going to go. I'm trying to get away so no one hears her conversation on my vlog. If she was smart, she'd just walk away. <laughs> so in case she's having a private conversation, don't want to hear it. So I'm trying to walk farther away. Okay. So that ends my Jongju. Uh, 
you know, KBO experience. So I hope you enjoyed this. And for any of you, if you uh, guys can still uh, give me the HKO special, help the king out, hit the like, subscribe, and tell me what you think about this experience. All right, well, then um, I'm off. I'm heading back to the train station, and I will uh, see you later. Bye.